In the last video, we have seen how Python can be installed. In this video, we will see after installing Python, so how Python code can be executed. Basically, Python code can be executed in one of the two possible ways. That is, Python can be executed either in the interactive mode or you can even execute the Python code in script mode. So, the inter in interactive mode, every statement can be executed and immediately you can see the response. So, this mode is also known as the shell mode as you are executing the instructions at the command prompt or at the Python shell. So, now we will see how Python code can be executed in the interactive mode. Now, let us see how Python commands can be executed in the interactive mode. So, when you are using the Python IDLE. So, once you launch Python using the IDLE, this is how the Python IDLE looks like. So, here you can see, so this symbol. So, at this symbol, you can execute any of the Python command. So, to make it simple, I am just adding two numbers. So, here you just type the command you would like to execute and then press enter to execute the command. So, then I am executing one more command. So, 5 into 6, something like that. You can execute any of the Python command. So, here I am executing a command to display a string welcome to Python. After typing the command, when you press enter, the command will be immediately executed. So, here if you observe the statement by statement, you are getting the response immediately. That is how this mode of execution is known as the interactive mode of execution. Now, let us see how Python commands can be executed from the command prompt. So, you launch the command prompt and then to launch Python, you just type the command Python. If Python is already installed in that machine, then you can see this kind of statement. So, here if you observe Python 3.7 is installed, you can observe the symbol which indicates a Python shell environment where you can execute commands in the interactive mode. So, here also to make it simple, I am executing simple arithmetic instructions or you can even execute any other Python command also. So, here you can observe, you can execute any simple arithmetic statements or any of the Python command or even the complex control structures also can be executed interactively. In the interactive mode of execution, immediately the user can get the response. That is how this mode of execution is known as the interactive mode of execution. And especially here, you are executing at the Python shell. That is how this mode is also known as the shell mode of execution. So, here when you execute the instructions using the shell mode or the interactive mode, the problem is, so when you close Python and then when you relaunch it, the commands you are executing earlier are not saved. So, they will vanish. So, that is the problem. So, the commands you already typed, if you would like to save, it is not possible here. So, what you can do is, so you can save the set of instructions in a file and you can save them and you can open them to reuse the saved file. So, now let us see how we can execute a set of instructions in Python. Now, let us see how Python code can be executed in the script mode using the Python IDLE. So, here you can see the menu in the Python IDLE. So, go to file menu. Then if you want to create a new file, then click on new file and type the set of instructions. Assume these are the set of instructions I would like to execute. So, after typing these set of instructions, so you can save the file by using file save. So, now, so you need to give a name. So, here I am giving the name as test.py. So, here you need to give the extension to this file name as py indicating that. So, this is a Python file. So, here I am giving a name as test to this file. So, test.py is the file name you are saving this set of instructions. This file is saved with the name test.py. So now, you can see, so this file is saved. If you would like to execute these set of instructions, so you just click on run and press on run module or otherwise you can simply click the button F5 to run the commands. So, now you can see, so the file is executed and then you are getting the output. So, that is how you can execute a set of statements that are stored in a file using the Python IDLE. So, and this mode of execution is known as a script mode as you are writing a script and then you are executing. Even after you quit Python and then if you relaunch also, you can open these files whenever you would like to open and execute. So, the reusability of the code is available in this kind of execution. That is the advantage of using the script mode of execution. Now, let us see how Python code can be executed in script mode 
using the command prompt. So you just go to the directory wherever the file is saved and then use the command python. So python space the file name I would like to execute is test. So python space your file name you would like to execute and then dot py. This is how you can execute python code from the command prompt. Here you can see python test dot py. So here you are executing a sequence of instructions that are stored in the file test.py and it's asking to enter value. So enter value 10, so enter again another value 20. So now you can see the output after executing the statements in the file test.py. So that is how you can execute the program in the script mode from the command prompt. You can use the command python space file name dot py to execute the program in script mode. That is how it is possible to execute python code either using the shell mode of execution or using the script mode of execution. So in case of shell mode, so the statements you are executing immediately you are getting the response but the statements are not saved. Whereas in the case of the script mode, so you cannot see the interactive results but the statements you are executing will be saved for the future use. I hope now you understand so how to execute python code using the shell mode or using the script mode. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.